welcome back to Hermitcraft. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, first of all off, I'm sorry this is so late in the day, but uh, I let time kind of get away from me. And, uh, well, it's a lame excuse, but I overslept, which is really strange because I hardly ever oversleep. I haven't overslept in years, and it actually is kind of a cool thing. In any event, uh, last episode, I was asking y'all about ideas of a Halloween kind of nature. And uh, there were several good suggestions, several ideas, several things that some of y'all said that gave me a few ideas. And all I can say is, keep them coming. If you got an idea, throw it out there. Who knows? Run it up the flagpole, see if somebody salutes. You know, it might just be good. Who knows? But, I came across another idea for something that would be good to do right today, right now. And, uh, first of all, I have to say that I am a little bit disappointed. Because, apparently, it's too hot in the Mesa. Yeah, you heard me right. It's apparently too hot in the Mesa because snow golems do not last at all. Oh, I hate that sound. That's terrible. I am going to have to see what I can do to fix that. I could have sworn I had my resource pack in that has the sounds fixed and whatnot. But the problem is that sometimes it just doesn't want to work. I don't know why. I know it's part of the fact is that um, Minecraft reloads these resources every time you start the game. It tries to re-download them. I've never understood why it does that. It's like they want to make it difficult for people who want to uh, change the sounds. Ugh. Terrible sound. Anyway, enough ranting about that. So, uh, I'm going to go with a slightly altered version of my plan. It was going to involve about 15 or 20 snow golems, but, uh, eh, what are you going to do? In any event, it looks like something exploded. Um, in any event, I was watching a live stream the other day. And this live stream was uh, Scar. He was doing his thing on the, uh, on the Hermitcraft modded server. He, he was streaming the Hermit Pack. And that's great. He was doing good having some fun, a lot of people in there, and uh, so on. Let's see, am I... Yeah, that's Cub's place, okay. Uh, yeah, okay, I think I'm getting in the right place here. Scars post box. Ah, cool. We have arrived, sort of, kind of. Yeah. Anyway, uh, one of the things that happened on the stream while I was watching was that uh, he came across some, apparently had some modded potion, and he got it out. And uh, the potion, the item description or whatever, in the tooltip said something about finding your inner snowman or something like that. And he took that, he ended up using that potion. And, uh, you know, it's hard to find a place where you can put this stuff because everything's the wrong height. Ugh. Anyway, uh,
Anyway, uh, as I was saying, before I interrupted myself, um, so he ended up taking the potion just to see what it would do. And he was honestly expecting that uh, this, was, this modded potion was going to, by virtue of the power of modded, turn him into a snowman. And it's not an unreasonable explanation, expectation, honestly. It really isn't. Because, uh, you know, mods can do some crazy, crazy things. Anyway. He took this thing and, strangely enough, it didn't turn him into a snowman. Instead, well, you know about the uh, the new Frostwalker enchantment, where with that enchant, walk on water and uh, pretty much kind of like leave a trail of ice. It's kind of a pseudo ice because after uh, it, it melts really soon and goes away and so on. But uh, it, it does that. Well, this potion gave him an effect that was kind of like Frostwalker, except you'd have to call it Snowwalker. So instead of leaving a trail of frozen ice you know, something like that. Instead, God, everything's at the wrong height. Ah. And instead of that, he left a trail of snow everywhere he went. And uh, he, he went into somebody's house and left a trail of snow all through it. And, <laughs> and uh, so on. It was really kind of, really, it was really funny. It was hilarious. And, uh, yeah, it, it was just hilarious. And I was just thinking, you know, Maybe he found his inner snowman. <laughs> Maybe Scar finally found his inner snowman. So, uh, I'm going to go up here and I'm going to put up a sign. And we'll find out if he has found his inner snowman. Okay, let's see here. That's a good place to start. Yeah, well, back here where the snow started. Yeah, here we are. Okay. I have a sign. Uh, you put them in this packed stuff? Yes. All right. Uh, Have you found your, and we'll have another sign back here, now let's put it in quotes. And we'll sign it. Have you found your inner snowman? <laughs> yeah, I think that's cool. Okay. And by the way, the landscaping work back here is freaking awesome and amazing. I never been 
anywhere near a third of a tenth of a half of an eighteen billionth as good at doing that sort of thing. Mad props to anybody like Scar that can do that sort of thing. Yeah. And the building, as I understand it, he built these bridges. Really, really good work. And I noticed the other day that there's a new one up here, over here by the diamond. And this is replacing one that, uh, it used to be a line of cobblestone going across there. <laughs> so it looks a whole lot better than what it replaced. Oh, well, I noticed the green district isn't near as green as it used to be. There used to be trees all over the place, lots of green and whatnot. Now, eh. The Green District is turning brown. Oh, well. Maybe it's just because it's fall. Winter and all that. In any event, I am sad to say that I'm out of time for the day. So, thanks for watching. Take it easy. I'm out of here. <laughs>